What is going on, lunatics? Guys, so let's go over exactly what has happened so far. Uh, congratulations, because Binance just burned 1 billion tokens. That's not the burn that everybody's looking for. That is kind of a slap in the face compared to what should have or could have or had been scheduled to happen. Uh, court filings have not been done yet. The case has not been closed yet. So we don't know the reason why Chris Amani who is now the CEO at Terraform Labs, has violated court orders and not burned all of the Terra Luna Classic and USTC that are still sitting in their wallets. We're going to kick this off. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, by the way, uh, those of you that are fanboys of certain things, probably not going to like some of this, but we're going to go over exactly what I see right now. You can make a determination. I don't want you to think what I think just because I'm pointing out some of these things. So number one, uh, Terra Luna Classic Nears Lunk uh, Burn Enforced by, this came out a week ago. This was an article being presented, which indicated, of course, that they had to burn Luna Classic, that they had to burn the USTC, that there were certain levels that you would have to watch out for. Standard, just a standard article showing you what is going on. You can look that up at Daily Coin. Now, um, that was about a week, by, by that point, it had already been a week since Happy Caddy Crypto had stopped posting. Now, Happy Caddy Crypto is the person who is in charge and runs Lunk Dash. Lunk Dash over here, where we go to get information specifically, uh, normally for us about wallets, who, what wallet has what, and um, how people vote, like Prop 12 143, where we are on that. So, um, but when we come to top holders and we look right there, this is the bridge wallet that we have still not seen being used. And we have some more wallets down here, which are still kind of open part of Terraform Labs, but they didn't burn. What is going on? Uh, and remember, by the way, the classic bridge, uh, the Luna bridge, all of that were going to be closed and all of the liquidity was going to have to be burned. Well, it has not been burned. So now we go to USTC. What do we see on USTC? We still see that 1.847 billion is still sitting sitting for the Luna Foundation Guard, and 290 million is still sitting in the Terraforms Lab wallet. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean number one, Classy Crypto has been wrong all of this time about the wallets? I don't think that's the case, by the way, and I'm going to show you why in just a moment. Or they are now violating a court order, or there's a reason, and it's just taking a little bit longer for something to happen. So let's break down the next scenario about what's going on. So Happy Caddy hasn't said anything in two weeks. Uh, we've got the wallets now here, right here. This is uh, Looker Studio. This is how you go to check the Luna Foundation Guard reserves, right? Uh, and what does it say? Uh, read right here, USTC. It's still in there. So USTC has not been burned yet despite the fact that there was a mandate that by October 31st that it be burned. So we're sitting here waiting right now for LFG to actually do the burn. And uh, by the way, you can also see right here, they still have 227 million Luna. This is where you should start to get a little bit concerned. Where is the burn for Luna? So not only do you not have USTC or Luna Classic being burned, you also don't have Luna. And they were required by October 31st to have all of it burned and done. Well, let's take it one more step. One of the other people who's been telling you all this time that the burns were coming, that the burns were going to happen, uh, was Mr. Diamond Hands, who reported here, uh, Binance has burned 1 billion lunk for the monthly burn. Fine. And then, of course, everybody's asking, well, where's the rest of it? And uh, come down here to Mr. Diamond Hands. Um, just to refresh everyone's memory on the Lunk and USTC being burned inside the Terraform uh, Shuttle Bridge wallet. Uh, this was from August 20th, or August 28th, and this was the article that says, um, the bridge will remain open from now until 30 days after the effective date of Terraform Labs Chapter 11 plan, which is estimated to be on around uh, 30 October. Based on anticipated September 30th effective date, which is subject to change, opening the bridge gives you the opportunity to redeem your assets and use them as you wish. Please ensure to redeem the assets after the bridge closes. Any user assets still in the contract will be burned and the bridge will be permanently shut down. And uh, if you come over to it right now, still up and operational. So it has not been shut down as said. Now, part of that could mean 
that they were projecting here that based on the anticipated September 30 effective date for the, the, the bankruptcy plan, it could be that it's just a couple of days off. So um, the burns would, in this case, would still be happening. We just did not get them exactly at the time that we had anticipated based on the, um, and look, we may have gotten incorrect information for this day because we relied on Terraform Labs and we know what Terraform Labs did to the Luna Classic blockchain. So in a question of, tra uh, of in, for transparency sake, for trustworthiness, we're relying on Fleececan and Chris Amani to be truthful and honest. Mm. And Terraform Labs, same. And Luna Foundation Guard, same. Maybe they just haven't done it because it hasn't closed yet. So we're going to have to get clarification that the anticipated September 30 effective date, which again, subject to change, maybe we'll see something happen. Now, have we seen anything happen? Well, in fact, we have because a post came out 20 hours ago saying, Dear Terra Community, this will, uh, we would like to inform you that the operations for Enterprise DAO and warp protocol will officially conclude on December 31, 2024. Both applications will be shut down on this date. We encourage all users to review their positions and take any steps necessary before closure. Thank you for your support and for being part of this journey with us. And uh, Mr. Diamond Hands, of course, thanks him. Uh, and then Wenburn of Shuttle Bridge Wallet. And if you come into this, uh, then you will see no answer. Nobody's making any answers. And of course, there's a bunch of angry you know, people like, how could you not do this? Oh my God. You know what I mean? Going, you know, baby shit, baby shit, basically. So, um, that brings us up to right now. And we've gotten a, a we've gotten a post from them that we have not seen in a long time. And, uh, now what is the next one? Well, here's the thing. This is all of the stuff right here. Okay. Terraform Labs continues with progress with third-party discussion. However, in case they are not successful, we'll be shutting down these products on October 30. Okay, what are they? A year ago, the valuation of Cryptonomy.finance was $3.7 billion, according to the British government. Today, that value, $6.1 billion. This company has managed to raise $2.4 billion in capital over the last 365 days. If you're looking for a place to get information about investment opportunities, then cryptonomy telegrams are the place over here. This is the quarter, uh, this is the quarter, third quarter uh, marketing overview. This is Ben Armstrong has predicted uh, XRP past ETH in market capitalization. These are news articles that are constantly giving you the information that you need. Additionally, there's an update channel and it's giving you market structure playouts. It's giving you market updates on each major country and indices that there are out there right now to give you an idea of what is going on in the market so that you can get an idea of what it looks like broadly and how these governments are working. Big news articles, whatever you need, Cryptonomy has it for you. Not only does Cryptonomy have it, but myself, Dean DCA, Crypto, Lyft Capital, Jake Gordon, we're all writing articles for Cryptonomy. You can come check. I did one on Immutable Quarter 2 of 2024. Uh, we've also got Thorchain, State of NYM, and we got Ronin's Web3 Gaming Empire. Guys, if you need information about this crazy crypto market, then by all means, you need to go to economy.finance slash research. But none of that matters unless you are using cryptonomy.finance the way that it's meant to be used by setting up fixed staking so that you can earn some significant yields. Let's set up a deposit today. Today we're dropping three ETH into a nine month contract. All right, we've created that, but the biggest move into all of it is the launch pool. Guys, I cannot stress enough. They've had 57 X average return so far in their investments. If you just create a deposit, I've got a potential for up to 5X with a 50-50 profit sharing from the launch pool. We're gonna create this contract now for $20,000. And there we have it. The anticipated profit between one and 5X when this thing is completed. And it will complete in October of 2025, just in time to cash out for the bull market. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for Protonomy.finance today. Enterprise DAO, Warp Protocol, Station Wallet, Alliance Hub. Block Explorer, Foundation, IBC Relayers, Mantle Mint, all of this was going to be shut down on October 30th. Now, that included these two things right here, Enterprise and Warp. What did they just say about Enterprise and Warp? Enterprise and Warp are now going to be open until December 31 of 2024. So what exactly is going on right now? So it would appear that there's been an extension that we haven't seen yet filed by the courts. Now, uh, you might be angry because you're, look, the only people that should be angry, by the way, are people who are just trying to cash out anyway. 
and I, I don't think it's fair to, to say that, uh, you know, those people, they're, they're not representative of the entire community. They're going to bitch and they're going to cry and they're going to put tears in their eyes, but they're crocodiles. You know what I mean? Like, like they, they just want to see price go up. They just want to see the price go up so that they can sell. So they can be motivated to sell uh, at a profit. So if you're here for the long term, this doesn't really matter to you. It matters to me. It matters to me, and it should matter to Diamond Hands. It should matter to Happy Caddy Crypto. It should matter to people that cover this space because for a lot of you, the, the word that we give you is based on the premises that we are seeing outlined and shown here, but we are all outsiders looking in at deceptive people like Chris Amani, uh, Terraform Labs. We're looking at these people for the information. We're following the orders of the courts, et cetera, et cetera. The fact that they're not, well, that makes us look bad. So uh, if you decided that you were going to skim some Luna Classic because of, uh, a, 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 and do a scalp or something like that, my bad. But um, you were going to sell anyway. I mean, eh. So anyway, ultimately, um, you know, we, we, we don't have an answer to why these things have not burned yet. We still see them sitting there. There should be a court update at some point today on Pacer. We'll get a docket as soon as it's uploaded and updated. And we'll, you know, we'll let you know exactly what is going on. We'll figure it out. But Terra Bridge, still active. Should not be active, but still is. Uh, December 31st seems to be a new date. Um, and then uh, this is right here. This again, this is more confirmation. Um, the SEC battle. Yeah, I'm just going through and I'm looking for all the different news that seems to be kind of leaking out. And I'm not seeing anything uh, very specific at this point. Just, just you know, a few articles here and there. In the meantime, because it didn't burn, uh, we saw a little bit of a dump in the price down to that nine four zeros nine range. We had dropped a zero a little bit earlier in anticipation of the move. Now, of course, when that happened, that led to a little bit of a sell-off on almost everything. Uh, Cat with Hat sold off just a little bit. Uh, Jura sold off just a little bit more. Food sold off just a little bit. You know, everything sold off just a little bit because it didn't happen the way that we had been, you know, like this is what was supposed to be happening. So... Uh, very, very weird. Very, very weird. But um, uh, moving on over here, uh, we're probably going to get the simplified tax handling on Terra Classic done. Look, nothing has changed fundamentally except the number of things that have burned so far. And we'll figure out when that burn is going to happen. It just didn't meet the deadline. So simplified tax handling, that's the reverse charge, uh, which is Strathcole and Happy Caddy Crypto. Uh, looks like it's going to hit that pass threshold very, very soon. Um, there's 10% who have now abstained, uh, Lunk Luna Station is an abstain, no no's, no no's of vetoes, now we're just waiting for the final quote unquote nail in the coffin, if you will, um, all nodes, somebody like that, kind of weird that they haven't weighed in at this point, um, you know, we'll see what happens, but, um, that's what's going on as far as price action. Uh, we're at 9109, a red candle for the day. Now it should have been a this should have been a, a good continuation of this, but as the day continued to progress, we were starting to notice cracks in in, you know, look, everybody's waiting. Why is it gonna wait? Why are we burning stuff at midnight? Stuff like that. So everybody had that feeling, and of course that led to some downward momentum. But that downward momentum wicked off of the 50 MA, as you can see right here meaning that I, I think that's positive. We're going to call it positive for this moment and, and say that's a positive development. And it wicked right back up into that range, but we need that breakout in order for, you know, again, we want confirmation and even those seedy little, you know, whatever's, um, some, some say, a lot of people are saying dirt bags that just want to sell as soon as it pumps a little bit, you know, those people, um, uh, they'll, they'll get it, they'll, you know, they'll get it. But uh, again, what we were relying on was this move back up here to kind of f uh, fill out this channel, if you will, and it didn't happen. So again, we'll figure out what's going on uh, and we'll know from there exactly what's happening. Now, the broader market is up $20 billion on the day. U.S. market is a buyer. Uh, but when you look at the volume here, volume is down 60%. Why? Because Terraform Labs and Luna Foundation Guard didn't do what they said they were going to do. USTC down 60%. Why? Because Terraform Labs and Luna Foundation Guard didn't do what they said they they were going to do. In fact, they just added another two months to this whole process uh, out of nowhere. Uh, and they're acting like, hey, we did you guys a favor. I don't think so, baby. So anyway, uh, if you look, by the way, no Luna has burned either. So none of this is, you know, uh, none of this is, has happened. 
as it was supposed to. Now, um, again, people are excited about the Binance burn, 1 billion tokens. I mean, thank you, Binance. We appreciate that. But again, we're looking for something a, a little bit more robust than that. You can see right here, 11 million over the last seven days. This should be, this right here should be in the, the 200, this should be in the four or 500 billion today. That's what's going on. Uh, stake bin shows you the 1 billion being burned. But again, nothing else is being burned significantly. So uh, that leads us to what happens next. We don't have the information. We're going to need to see the bankruptcy filing today and see why there's an extension. Why are they being given two more months to close down uh, Warp and Enterprise? We'll see what happens. Uh, but if you're looking for uh, La Cheta, which is money, uh, then uh, Danger High Voltage is available right now. There's $5,000 poker free roll tomorrow on Saturday. So make sure that you get in, get signed up for uh, Terra Casino today so that you can participate. And then World Poker League giving away 2 million euros uh, from now until December 22nd. Be part of it. Don't be part of Be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. By the way, all of this right here going to burn and very small amounts being traded, right? But, but still a consistent volume and a consistent flow. So if you are looking... For a place for some risk-based gaming, this is the place to go, terracasino.io. Go there today. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up and sign up. You know what I mean? And then uh, terraport.finance, as you can see right here. Uh, again, you know, a lot of red in the market. A lot of it is because of that pairing, um, and it just hasn't worked out perfectly um, because we didn't get what, what we expected to happen to happen. Now, on the earn, um, my average, by the way, and I did remember I restaked all of mine, and I've earned four more so far. i got 13 days left on it, but uh, we'll just keep doing that over and over and over again. Right now, I'm averaging 6,389. Um, um, Terra in my wallet. So it looks like I'm probably going to have to wait another four or five days, or I'm just going to have to buy like 10,000 more Terra. I see what you did. I see what you did. You want me to buy 10,000 more because uh, that's how you get 10,000 more Terra. So um, if you're interested in that, then of course you can go liquid staking and farming if you are looking uh, for that opportunity because it still exists for you and some really good APRs. So uh, you can lock this stuff in for a little while and you can yield farm and you can earn. And I mean, why not? You know what I mean? Why not? So, whew, that's it. That's our time. Um, I don't have the answer for you. Uh, remember, a lot of this came from Happy Caddy Crypto and his research and investigation and his labeling on Lunk Dash of LFG wallets, of Terraform Lab wallets. So, everything that we know or presume to know uh, kind of comes from Lunk Dash, where we're looking at the wallets. It's coming from uh, the updates that are coming from Terraform Labs. It's coming from uh, the bankruptcy courts, but we're going to have to see what this all looks like and we'll get a breakdown. I'll get that for you. Uh, and then we'll resume this uh, discussion maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, uh, but we'll get, I'll get the information from you for you as quickly as possible and we'll get it conveyed and out there. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.